and welcome along. Today we are back on Oakfield Farm. We're down at field 13 and what we're going to do is our canola has come ripe. So we're going to get that harvested uh, with our John Deere S670. But what we're going to do is I've had a lot of requests in the comments to, uh, to show you guys how course play is set up for karting, uh, how I set it up for the last time. So that's what I'm going to start this video off with. We're going to get set the combine off on the uh, AI, uh, on the vehicle AI, going around the field, and uh, and then we're going to set up the course play course for our T7 here, uh, and then you guys will be able to see how I did it and, uh, and how it's set up. So uh, let's get started. So start up our combine. Start that up, and we'll head into the crop. There we go. Nice and easy. Like so. So that's great. So now we will get the helper up. Oh. There we are. And we want him to go round. So we'll turn the helper off. Going round. Perfect. Right. Right, and away he goes. Or she. I'm not sure which. Which is it? It is a she we have driving. Ah. Uh, as per previously done, that's Danielle driving uh, our combine today. Right, so the easiest way to do this and get it closest to the field is to drop the trailer off first. So we'll drop that off out of the way. Just up the side of the field here. Like so. Then reverse the tractor up into the field. As far in as we can get without destroying crop. Right, uh, bring up course play. Clear that. Right, and then we will start a course play recording. So we start from here. And basically, we just drive the route now that we want to go. There we go. It's a nice wide turning out of the field. That way it will uh, make sure that the trailer makes it. So one of the advantages doing this this way is it's much easier to reverse up and things. But while you're doing it, you need to remember... Uh, that you will have a trailer on. So if you're, for example, if you're backing up to a shed or something like that, you need to allow for enough space in pulling forward to to pull back to uh, for your trailer to turn. And similarly, I don't think we might be able to. We will run a test of this course. So we should be able to drive through here. And if we drive out and drive around here, there should be enough space... For the tractor and trailer to get round. And then we just head back. And head back to the field. Now we'll test this course. Uh, before we actually get it on the combine. Uh, before we get it working. Which is always a good thing to do with your course. Uh, we keep an eye on the combine. The combine only has 32% uh, canola so far. Uh, Alright. And then back up to here and then what we normally do is we will get the tractor to park away from the start of the course and the idea behind that is if you run two tractors on this uh, then you should find that you, you don't have an issue right so we'll save this course um, <clears throat> this is uh, field 13 Karting, of course, G brings up that menu. Uh, I might reassign that because that is a bit annoying. I've got a couple of uh, keys that I want to, re uh, to reassign. So there we go. That's our course saved. So next, we're going to hook the trailer up. And we're going to drive the course. Now, what I normally find is that 
It will start driving, of course, from the second waypoint normally. But we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to cart for now. And then we're going to follow. Uh, we're going to set this off doing the course after that. So we're at 48% for our lorry. Oh, sorry, for our harvester. Right, our harvester has finished its first round of the field. So uh, it's about ready to empty. So we're going to empty this. And then we'll, what we'll do at that point is we'll then set this off uh, running a test of our course. So we'll drive alongside here. Perfect. And he's set on stop and empty. I'm just going to change that. Uh, in the commands here. Wait during unload is off. Okay. So we can now uh, follow alongside the combine. Quite nicely. And this will uh, allow us to... This, this gives us something in here that we can then go and, uh, and cart and get out. Uh, it should be about just over half a tank, I think. There we go, 52%. Perfect. We'll turn around. Now, the good thing about doing it this way uh, is that our tractor will now have enough space to turn around. So, course play up. We're going to go to first waypoint and drive course. Now this is grain transport load at start. Empty combine and offload. Yeah, there we go. So let's go. Drive course. Because so you can see it's not going to the start point and I'm actually hoping we're going to miss the trailer. Oh, that's close. Yeah, just a little, little bit of a knock. But, and you can see it's gone to the second point. But that's why we try and get as many points out of the field as we can. And the wideness you can see it got round there okay. So that's all good. The bit that worries me is what's going to happen after it's tipped. But if it does this, this is great. If not, we need to set up another course. But uh, yeah, certainly it seems to be working well at the moment. Into the yard. And we have our usual frame rate drop. If we don't look into the yard, we're okay normally. Yeah, there we go. And it's beginning its turn, which is good. That's very good news. Alright, let's see if it gets round. Yeah, there we go. That's made it round. So that's perfect. So that's our course working. So what we can do now is we can bring this back up and we'll configure the combine. So we know the combine's in field 13. Uh... So it should find the combine in there now. I love this uh, additional bit to course play. The fact that it now searches a specific field for a, for a harvester is absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> I really love that. It'll come back in. Park up. Right, and then we can look at the settings for our combine. So, the settings we've got at... Well, it's starting at 75%. I'm going to start at 70% full on the combine. Uh, because the combine is quite a long way around the field at the moment. Uh, if we bring up the map. Yeah, the combine, in fact, is off the map at the moment. So it's somewhere down the bottom corner. Uh, drive at 90% means our trailer will get 90% full before it drives. I'm going to drop that by 5% as well. Uh, side offset and everything is perfect. And this is the other thing. 
the tractor turns itself off while it waits, which is awesome. So at the moment, it's not found the combine. Our combine is at 39% and is harvesting, so that's good. Let's go and check out the combine then. So we're coming up the back, uh, back part of the field and I've just noticed my comb is a bit low. So I'm going to lift that out because I know I know that's one of the comments I get on a fairly regular basis um, is that uh, that I need to move the, the comb up. So uh, yeah, <laughs> before just heading it off at the pass. Um, yes, I have done that now. Uh, it's no longer sitting in the middle of the crop bending stuff down. It is gently guiding it into the blades into the um, into the cutters it should be good and uh, and we're good things we are 50% full so on this back straight what we're going to do is we're going to hopefully pick up the tractor again uh, and we're going to we're going to stop at the end and make sure the tractor unloads hopefully it will head off and uh, go and tip this load at that point and what we're going to do is we're going to cut into the field. So we're going to do our first cut into the field. I don't think we're going to have very many, to be honest. Just a small bit there. There we go. Just not quite got myself fully out. There we are. So 58%. So coming along this back stretch, the tractor should... Come and pick us up. Yeah, there we go. So let's get the auger out. And then we will stop at the end. Whoa. So he avoids the crop. He didn't avoid the combine so much. Around he goes. And then we can watch him head off. We can make sure that he successfully navigates his way out the field. And while that's going on, I'm going to turn on that and turn it so that we can match the direction as much as possible. There we go. There we go. That matches our field. Right, and then we're all set. Uh, there's our tractor. So he's turning off. What he should do, he's at 78%. Uh, I'm just going to go and check the course play in this. What is he driving on at? So he's driving on at, there's our levels, 85. So I'm going to get him to drive now. Yeah, we can watch him head off then. And that means he will be nice and clear for when we're uh, when we're ready for him in a minute. There he goes. Uh, we're gonna cut in about here. Uh, we've got quite a little bit of misshape, so that's fine. Down we go with our header. We're all lined up and away we go. In fact, that is quite deep into the field. But that's all right. That will do us fine. We might have to, yeah, that is really deep into the field. That's a bit deeper than I would have liked, to be honest. Uh, but what we might do is uh, work our way back out, do this cut through. work quite well. We'll be up to the uh, island fairly quickly. Let's see how much we can get off a single cut-in. Which is, at the moment, is 25%. There we are. Yeah, there we go. 20, 30%. Ish. So what we're going to end up with 
is doing about three of these to unload. Uh, the tractor is one going to want to fill. And he's back already. That's fantastic. So, yeah. I think when we do fields at the far end of the farm, I quite like the idea of getting a field right at the top corner of the map. So, say something like uh, 32 or 30 or, or 35. Something out that way. And carting from there. We'll need uh, two trailers and two tractors on it, and it will be fantastic. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the hide worker. I'm going to put the hide worker on up down, and not that it's going to matter much. And I'm going to set it to the hide worker because I want to head back to the tractor. And I just want to up that uh, drive at a little bit. So we know we're going to have... Uh, just over 60 to 80 percent so i want to get it so that we uh drive we start at uh 80 percent i think is good and we can head back to the combine now that's just look at that that's absolutely beautiful properly cinematic that past it goes looking awesome I really like that uh, we need to jump in though because uh, we need to stop our hide worker and away we go perfect very nice <clears throat> so yeah, we're at uh, we're going to be about sixty percent by the end of this row. So once we've done that, we can lift. Yeah, fifty six percent. we're on the right there we go perfect <clears throat> only need the small screen and that that just that's awesome right uh let's keep going until the tractor comes to empty us So our lights are flashing and the tractor is on its way. So I'm going to get the auger out ready for it. I think we're probably, yeah, we're going to make it to the end before he reaches us. Uh, he did avoid the crop, which is fantastic news. And yeah, that's awesome. It's almost actually as if the combine was getting a bit far away. So, uh, and we were getting quite full. So it's, um, it came into the middle of the field. I'm kind of wondering if course play has added another really cool feature. That of, uh, of recognising when it wouldn't reach the combine in time. That would be fantastic. That really would. So here it comes. awesome so it's uh yeah it's working really really well we will be through this field in no time at all so i'm gonna sell i probably gonna sell most of this come winter time i think is uh is pretty much the best course of action for me make a ton of money off it half tempted on the return here to, to go back the other way there we go. get our all grin and just get these two rows here 
uh, because of course we have the um, we have the, the island of trees coming so what I really need to do is I need to get round that so opening up the next bit yeah actually we're gonna open up the next bit uh, it's gonna give us a couple of rows left really to complete this and then we can go round the island so uh, so that's what I'm gonna do and uh, We'll get that sorted. Next, I think. We're on our way now to the island in the middle of the field, a tree of I oh, our island of trees. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go round the island, sort of create a mini headland almost uh, around it, so that we can split either side of it into a. Uh, uh, Sort of into a, a section to cut and then we'll knock each side of it out individually and that will be the easiest way to handle this so it'll be easiest to go through the middle of it like that uh, but we do of course need to get this first bit done where we're sort of going around and, uh, and getting the getting the headlandy bit of it done first makes it easy for us to turn our combine around I know I have sort of three headlands at the end of the field, so we might need to go around a couple of times just to give ourselves enough space to turn the combine. And it's a bit of an odd way this, because obviously we've got the, and we're now using the header uh, and the guide on the opposite side to the one we normally do, uh, because obviously normally we want to keep the auger out and uh, and available should we need to unload. Uh, and coming to the end of here, the uh, the tractor is absolutely going to want to unload. So hopefully it's not following us through here. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it can't It can't get to us at the moment. I should think it will start to move any minute. There we go. We've got that sorted. Uh, and we'll get the auger out in preparation. But yeah, so now we've cut that like that. What we can do is we will now cut in in the same way as we do normally and hopefully our tractor yeah so our tractor should now catch up to us he is going to turn all the way around we'll empty at the bottom of here and then we'll line ourselves up to cut into the middle of that but it just that just makes the whole thing so much easier to then handle having that headland bit there and doing it from this side where it is easiest We'll position ourselves slightly off centre when we do this cutting so that we make sure that um, we sort of take the whole thing out in one go. We'll do this end first. But first, we need to empty our trailer. There we go. Uh, just about done. So that is at 97%. Perfect. So we're going to now head here. We've got uh, one, two, I think we want to go in about here-ish. There we go. Yeah, about here-ish. Gives us two this side and two the other side. That will take us to the top. And uh, we should have enough space to turn around. I had that will just, this will just then work really nicely. In fact, I think we have about four, so yeah. It's good to know that, actually. It is, yeah, it is three. It takes up three, basically. So I'm going to take this out in a slightly less conventional way. Yeah, with this headland, we have enough space to turn. We have to do a little bit more manoeuvring, but it is just enough. There we go. And you can see we just take this block out of the middle now. So when we do the other side, what we'll do is we will just go down, uh, down the centre bit, line ourselves up perfectly with the centre, and then that will just knock that whole section out. 
and then we just have that top end of the field that today which will then just you know mean that we have the whole thing done so we've got two trail we've got at least two trailers worth off here now uh that's a pretty good yield that's um try to think how many liters that trailer holds we can check when we do the next one but yeah that's that's a good amount that we've got on that and a good yield we're getting off this field small tuft there. We'll come back along the top bit. Right, when we come to cut the next bit. But yeah, so that that is the easiest way to, to sort of avoid this island. Let's get that headland done like that and then you're not having any manoeuvring problems or anything like that. It just just makes the whole thing that much easier and we're at 25 percent now or 26 percent and i'll try to our tractor will be back really quickly actually if it's that in fact there it is it's back already that's fantastic now that is not the right one the next one over. There. That's where I want to head in. And then that will just make it that much easier to cut out and, uh, and keep it going. And that, and that is basically it. Just splitting these two bits into two and going down the middle. So having got that bit the other side of the island there done, we're now we're now on our return heading down here. Now the thing that's worrying me at the moment is of course we've got our headland bit around the island. We're very close to the point at which the tractor should come with us. Now I don't think he's moved yet. No, he hasn't moved thankfully. Uh, so we should be all right. Yeah, I was I was worried we were going to end up with the uh, the tractor here trying to. Uh, oh, come at us there we go that's alright he should come around to the other side of the island I think I can't see him anymore uh, he's not moving on the map at the moment but we're only 72% full yeah here he comes I uh, will need to empty at the end of this road be row because we need to cut in again So I will have to stop at the end. Uh, we're going to be pretty full anyway. So, uh, but yeah, he can't he can't empty while we're cutting in. So it's all about it's all about working out where you can do what. So we'll stop everything so that it's not. We tend to do this and stop all of the the equipment running and everything just because it reduces the wear and tear when you're uh, when you're sitting there you don't want all the machinery just keeping going if you're just standing there because yeah <laughs> it will wear out the combine quicker uh, which of course is not a wise thing to do right so we'll get this emptied and then we're gonna cut in there we go our combine is just about empty there we are He's heading off, and we are going to cut into the middle of this. So I want to get as close to the middle as I can, about here, I think, and we'll see where that takes us. Actually, that is all kinds of perfect. That's fantastic. We've got about two rows, maybe three on the left and two on the right, but that that is absolutely perfect for what we want. We can cut through here now. In fact, no, it's not even that on the uh, on the left. So it's slightly lopsided to the right, but that's okay. Uh, we've only got two on the right, so even going uh, either side that we go, we should be okay because we can keep the auger out uh, and we can keep the auger available to the tractor. I think we might only have. 
we might only have one more tank's worth available to the tractor on here, which would be good. It would be good to, um, not, not that I'm hoping for less crop, but more that I'm, I'm hoping that we can fit it all in. Because if we have like 30, 40, 100 litres over, I would, that, that would be really annoying. Uh, if we have, you know, a half a tank over, that's not so bad. But it's, yeah, it's when, it's when we can't quite fit it all in. We're only got 41% in the trailer. So uh, my hope is that even if we do come with the full tank, we can stop the tractor, stop the course play running. And, uh, and do that and sort that. Yeah. We are. We're going to have a little bit at the other end on this side, and then we're going to have two rows in the middle. Which is uh, not the end of the world, but uh, yeah, I could have, I could have cut slightly further over to the left, uh, to the right. Sorry, to the right, not the left. That would have, that would have worked fine. Gorgeous autumn day on Oakfield Farm. Not a rain cloud in the sky. Not till tomorrow, anyway. Yeah, it's gonna, oh, it's gonna rain next. We should have uh, the next harvest we have to do is corn, uh, which is for the pigs mainly. We have that field. I'm not sure I have a corn header at the moment, so we may look at an alternative way to harvest that. It's not a big field. We don't have a lot of it. Uh, I don't think we have a corn header for the combine that I can remember. Uh, so we may end up having to get something or hire something. Uh, we may hire something because I don't think I'm going to do corn again after the next harvest. Because it's, uh, wow, well, it's a lot of hassle with the header. Uh, and I've not got any plans to put sunflowers in or anything like that. So we are going to be putting soybeans, but soybeans take this header. And that just makes sense to me. We'll use what we have. We'll, we'll plant what we can with this header. But the extra crops, most of them go with this header as well. I need to check exactly which ones. And just do that and do it that way. Because I think that will... Uh, that will be good. We're going to plant wheat in this field. This is where our winter wheat's going. We need to get... So we're going to be spreading compost on here as well. So we might do that next episode. We have a lot of, we have a lot of compost. Uh, we need to get it on this field. We have time left on this day. Uh, and then we can get the winter wheat in, which would be fantastic. Get, get an early... Uh, get an early spread of compost and uh, an early seeding which will just work really well right 76% so yes we are going to be able to do this that is absolutely fantastic right and up round tractor is coming for us right, I'm gonna cut this corn a bit off first and drop that back down and our tractor then that's absolutely perfect. Our tractor then will empty as we finish. Which is awesome. Oh, I'm really, really happy with that. That has come together absolutely perfect at the end. Right, there we go. So, I'm going to end it here. I'm really pleased with that harvest. Uh, all that remains is for me, way, <laughs> is for me to say uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, 
please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.